All right, let's do a quick recap of today. Um, so we so we ended last week with a strong bullish candle on the daily, creating these daily equal highs. You can see over here. One, two. So these are the equal highs. Therefore, I was not looking for shorts until we took that high. <clears throat> Coming into Monday morning, night, I start to fall down. Pretty strong bearish momentum. As you can see, and correction on the way up. Creating these bearish ranges. But we still had this bullish range on. So I was either looking for longs from here uh, or shorts after we took the previous daily highs and the equal highs. Then what happened after we took the Asian session liquidity, we got some buy movement. And because we took the slow and then we took Asia high, we got this bullish break of structure. Looking at it like this. High, low, lower high, low, low, bullish break. So I was initially looking for, for longs from this area. Um, going into that area now after we took Asia high there was not really a buy opportunity that fitted my plan Um, because yeah there was some form of early early buyers but this was too early so I wasn't on the charts at this, at this time but if anything the price respected this bearish range respected this this order block. So it would have been a tricky entry anyways. Um, <clears throat> so we get, yeah, we get liquidity on the daily to the upside. We got um, internal range liquidity being taken. So longs were on the card. Shorts were on the card as well. It was a valid short when we um, came into London Open. As you can see, we got our early sellers over here. After we took Asia high, this is our early sellers. Then, uh huh. We got the uh, not a form of early sellers, you see it took out this wick. And then we got another break over here. So that, that could have been a valid entry, but because we had the daily highs above, I was not looking to short until we took them. And as you can see, price came even deeper, came even, even deeper into this discount after. So this was like a false bullish break. And we came deeper into the discount of this most recent uh most recent lag. Most recent bullish lag, I have to say. Um coming into pre New York, uh, what do we see? Price takes out uh and then lows instantly. First of all, uh, we take out London lows pretty quick because London had some momentum down. Uh, here as well, pre New York, some momentum. And then we see this candle, and we see some slowdown because this wick shows us that the momentum, um, slowing down. The buyers are stepping in. Then we go to the lower time frame, and we can see. The that price starts to slow down, and we take out this like this internal wick coming into the one minute block over here. But for me, the 15 minute PY was already enough. <clears throat> and we see the price has early buyers over here taking out this high that led to a new low, then coming down further. 
Bryce was forming nice, but then didn't give an answer to for the longs that fit up my plan. <clears throat> However, we still had this bearish range. So I was looking for shorts here, but again, no entry drill, no early sellers. So there was no entry for me. And we can see that after New York, price continued up and now made a bullish break again. So we can look for the longs now. <clears throat> then following this daily cycle, taking both sides of Asia, price pushes the... Uh, um uh new york or london pushes price up and down and we can see like we stay in the same range basically so the price is lining up more liquidity now to the upside which can be taken during asia but i expect it to be taken during new york tomorrow or to during london tomorrow you see that's pretty valid so i might look for longs from here or from here <clears throat> Focusing on the high time frame candles, can we see what can we see? Bullish momentum, correctional, and here it starts to slow down, especially at the end of New York. Like we can see more sellers stepping in because we overall we got like retail, retail resistance or level over here. So yeah, these were the, the this was today. No trade opportunities for me. There were trade opportunities, but not nothing that fitted my plan. Coming into tomorrow, for now, we'll mark it on like this. This is my new bullish range. Can I can delete all, oops. All nonsense in here. And just focus on this 50 minute POI. And this 50 minute POI. And I hope there's a 30 minute. Oh, it's a little bigger, slightly bigger, nothing major. But we'll just keep it like that. What does the one hour say? Might take the one hour. Let's take the one hour. Because then we cover the 50 minute. Yeah, exactly. Then we cover the 50 minute for value gap as well. To make it even more neat. Like this. And then call this one the schematic and put this one as, an, as the true OB. So that's what we're looking at for tomorrow. Either longs from here or shorts after we take previous daily high. <clears throat>